Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Winola, and welcome to Aloon. I'm pretty sure we've covered this game before, because I'm pretty sure this is the sync like game with Balder, who had like that pretty sick animation and stuff like that. Um, apparently this game just basically released when it's already been released before, so I'm guessing they're re-releasing it and trying it again, I guess? That's at least my thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the game again and see how it is. So I'm guessing this is basically a revisit. Alright, I feel like the animations are like way crispier now. All well, the characters like designs. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we played this game before. So I need to go like do comparisons through like the last time I played it into what's different now. Cause I know we had like a do we have like a little dragon with us or something like that? No, I'm thinking of a different game. But I do remember this character. Oh yeah, it was like Mena sharing. That's what it was. You can also auto battle, quick battle. You can speed it up. Double attacks. It would either deal damage or I can heal with it. I can heal and remove one debuff. Shit like that. It also tells me who they're aggroed against. And this game is under Gameville as well, as uh, the publisher. Not sure how they were under like the first time we played. Oh, I feel like that's new. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me go back before like through my other video of Aloon and I will be right back because I feel like something's definitely different now. Alright, after looking at the footage, it seems like everything's still the same. Well, most things are still the same. The um, whole team UI has changed a little bit. I, I feel like the characters are slight crispier, at least a little bit. But I also realized that the one I had played was like early access. That's what it was. It was in closed beta at the time. So now it's fully released and just got out of closed beta. So, yeah, this whole thing was way different. But now I feel like they've changed. Well, I, I see that they changed it. So, yeah, it's, it's still basically the same. I guess they went through, like, probably some character balancing, you know, some things like that. Probably added a few new characters. I realized that their formations they had started us out with at first is a little bit different because the characters were like way spaced out a little bit more all right so they changed quite a bit i guess we'll just see what's up you know try to speed through this because all the dialogue is still pretty much the same their opening animations are still the same, but it's kind of like a download start. To be honest, I, I have no problem with checking out, you know, this game for a while. Or adding this game to my um, pile of games to play. That's if it keeps my interest for, you know, long enough. Okay, so what's this? Oh, we got a penguin. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why he reminds me of this old game I used to play. It was called Whacked. I used to play it on, like, the original Xbox. Do we have any gifts for us in here? For pre-register? Okay, so that was basically the, all the tutorial. Gee, that was quick. <sighs> you do have gifts for us. Free four-star. What's this? Free 10 summon on start. Premium summon. From rare to legendary. And that's pretty much it. I don't even know what the hell the seeds are. Oh, evolution food for tanks and stuff like that.
So that's what it looks like for like summonings. When you summon a four star, you're gonna turn purple. So when I guess you summon a five star, you get like a gold gate. I feel like the character design and everything. Hold up, is my um, settings all the way up to max? I'm pretty sure they should be. I like quality. Quality, quality, game. Make sure it's ultimate speed. All oh, graphics can go higher than that. Okay. Meh. I don't feel like that changed too much. I think that, I feel like that made that a little bit worse. Yeah, I like this one better. Ultimate's like a little bit too sharp. All right, let's use our um, full-on summon. Oh, we got a full-on ten summon and just normal summons. Okay, that's what it was. Oh, we got some purples coming in. Oh, we got one, one purple. Oh no, we got some four stars in there. Alright, I guess this is a little bit of a surprise for us. Just all these achievements that are just popping up over here. What's this one? Oh, oh my, hello. How you doing? Wait, didn't they used to tell us the roles over here? No, no, I'm thinking of a different game. Never mind. I'm thinking of, um, I don't even remember the game game's name, but I, I definitely remember what I'm thinking of. Totally different game. A purple? What is it? A healer. With a bow. Ho oh. ho. Huh. Like how do female characters walk out with all that pep in their steps? <laughs> okay. We got to grab some gold. Pretty sure we'll probably need that more than anything. So that's stamina, huh? Okay. Others are abolishing stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and look at skills. I'm pretty sure you can just hold down, right? Nope. You have to actually go out and look at the characters. Oh yeah, I forgot they have costumes. They had a lot of costumes. Okay, so they did the same thing that um, King's Raid does that I like seeing. The whole four star, six star costumes and stuff like that. I love seeing that. Just so I can go back to a costume that I enjoy the coloring most of. Or the, you know, how it looked design wise. Okay, so this character has normal magic damage, uh, second skill, gives back. Wait, hold on. Challenge the energy. Okay, that's just extra dialogue. Choose an enemy, gives all enemies HP. <laughs> okay. So pretty much a heal all. And she heals all for her ultimate ability. And then they also get a regen with that. She has a passive. Wait a minute. So this is for the first. Okay, yeah, the first skill. We use the first skill. Heals all allies for 20% of damage that you do. Okay, not too bad. When a target is below 50% HP, healing is increased by 20%, increases attack and healing by 10% after four turns. Oh, after she takes four turns, not like four turns in general. And also, you can use, it seems like you can use every character in the game because you have a three star here and a four star here. So every character in the game could be useful. 
Okay, so she's a buffer. What does she buff? Okay. Gains an ally a enhanced buff that allows them to restore 40% of their attack for damage dealt for three turns. Gives another enhanced ability that increases max HP by her attack. Okay. Increases crit damage when... Okay, this is their passive. Increases crit damage when attacking an enemy with an HP ratio lower than a user's. Okay, so probably going to be more of a PvP character. Unfortunate, because I like Egyptian characters and I like PvE. But let's see. Last one. Instantly attack with a golden tap. Oh, with the first skill. When an ally lands a crit. Okay, so she kind of fights as soon as you, like, crit. So she pretty much just added in her own little attack. Okay, what do you do? Okay, she deals magic damage. Gives a barrier to a target. And absorbs damage based on, I guess, how much attack she has. Except for soul damage. Soul damage can be blocked. And this lasts up to two turns and removes a random buff previously granted to the target. Oh, so I guess they remove a buff to the ally? If a buff already presented is restored, its duration is refreshed. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess I understand that a little bit. Alright, her... Ultimate skill. Alright, she activates a barrier that allows all allies to absorb damage. And it's the same thing as the first one, can't block soul damage. And increases the attack while barrier is activated. So as long as you have your barrier, you get an increase of 10% of attack. Gives, okay, she has a passive, uh, give the first move at the start, oh, she gets the first move, consumes, consumption is reduced by two. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to read every single thing, I guess I'll just more likely go with the flow, and we can click, oh, okay, so if we click on something, we can actually get, like, dialogue for that. Okay, that's actually really nice, I like that. Okay, I know what a team I'm going to try and go for. Wait, you're a priest, aren't you? Okay, no, you're you're kind of a priest, but kind of not at the same time. I was about to say, hold on a second. I am kind of curious of what she does, though. Does she have a charm effect? She has a weakened effect that reduces max HP. Okay, she has a charm. Does that take over the enemy completely? Which is the real question I would love to know. Prevents actions. Gives soul and rage to caster. She also heals a little bit by taking HP off the damage she deals. Okay. But not bad. The game has definitely changed quite a bit. That's what I like to see. That's definitely what I like to see. Actually, we're going to leave you there. We're actually going to put you here you here you here and you here wait a minute no we're gonna we're gonna actually take replace that you can also add potions if you have any they have other formations as well that you can go through God, this is giving me, like, nostalgia of, like, playing Seven Nights a little bit. Except for you can actually use these skills without the game just continuing to fight, you know? Dude, I, ju I just did that already, okay? How dare you just gonna... Dude, okay, hold on a second. 
I get that you want me to do certain things, but you're not just gonna fuck up my team like that, especially when I had it the way I wanted it. How, d how dare you? The disrespect you just pulled. Like, I want to fight you now. Like, dude, that's just, this is real disrespectful. Put, put him back in there. <laughs> like, jeez, man. All right, let's let's go in with this team. The fuck is? <laughs> I feel highly disrespected after that. Can we change like the camera? No, we can't change like camera angles. That's unfortunate. But yeah, we can see the passives here and everything. She gets her first turn, and she can use this right off the bat. Thanks to her passive. And that passive is actually really good for like a start off. Alright, not half bad. You already seen a story for this. Alright, yeah, we got gears and stuff that we got to put on our characters and shit, so yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Bag. Weapon. Equip. Oh. Oh. Repeat. Well, it feels bad. <laughs> you know, you tried. And second off, I didn't want that on her anyway. She's my healer. <laughs> Guess whoever is in the first line gets it. I want it more on a damage dealer. And we're just going to put it on one of you. Which it seems like both of you guys are like debuffers in a way. And you hit up to four enemies. Um, I don't think she hits that many, right? Except for a, like ultimate skill maybe. Hits the enemy seven times. Jesus Christ. No breathing room it sounds like. Okay now you can have whatever I have left over. <laughs> yeah I might be playing this game for a while. That's for sure. Okay, I could bring friends. Great to see this game's finally got another early access and stuff, man. Okay, you're targeting her. Oh, wait, did we just get taunted? Oh, we can't hit because the... Okay. Because they're in the way. You gotta finish off the tanks first. Let's specify otherwise by skills. I was here like, wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, they have repeat functions too. Nice, nice. And if you're thinking I'm gonna re-roll and shit like that, nope. I don't I don't really re-roll in any games I start. I just go with the flow of what I get. I don't know, I've never been a huge fan of like re-rolling in games. Oh, I remember this crap. Weren't they, like, really damn strong? At least I feel like they were. Maybe they changed them? Not sure. Yes. 
Haha, <laughs> try to get me with with shield, my guy. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, that's some 10 out of 10 animation, though. And it also gives you how much dialogue is left. I love that. That is, like, really nice. You don't really see how many games... You don't really see games do that anymore. Because I, I think I've ran into another game that's done the same thing. But... Only, like, two games now that I know have done this. And that is fantastic. I like that idea. Oh goddamn, those rewards though. There it seems like we do have like a little bit of a um, a little bit of a tutorial tree or guide guide rewards. Oh, it select something. Is that a select summon? Hold up. Hold up now. You guys out here giving out select summons? Alright, hold up. If they're doing what I think I, they're doing. They have to want to see more. Okay, so... Oh uh, yeah, they are doing 30, 30 select. Oh, I see what they're doing. Ah. If you want to keep just the pool, you can... Okay, that's... Dude, that's fucking neat. <laughs> they, they put it in like their own way. I love that. Hey, who told you to try to make me forced to do that? I was about to say, you want to fight me, game? Hold up. I mean, I gotta check the characters and see who are good. That's the thing. I don't even know which characters are good, which ones are bad. <laughs> Which ones are epic, which ones are not, like, oh, they even have coming soon characters, too. Dude, I gotta look at all these and just make sure I get the right ones I want. <laughs> like, look at that design. Okay, no, okay, well then. Damn. Oh, that, okay, that's, that's really sick. <laughs> I fucking love that. Oh, you're creepy. You remind me of that dude from, um... Who was it? Goddamn, what was his name? It's from Blue Exorcist. The headmaster of Blue Exorcist. I kind of do want her. What are her skills, though? Guys. This... This is impressive. Okay, giving out barriers, too? Oh, that's her second skill, too. That's really damn nice. Gives heal an immunity? Against all attacks. Okay, hold on a second. This character might be something I have to go for. But yeah, I would recommend looking through all of like, the epics legendaries and shit like that you know get yourself some good pools that's for sure go ahead and read like I guess you would read everything epic to legendary at best that's for sure okay we can see her progression you can get her up to um jeez six star max okay that's gonna be weird so I guess you can get them up to six star then you can start enhancing them further than that I guessing that's what they're going for. Okay. But yeah, pretty pretty neat. 
was about to say, hold on a second. Okay, so we can only grab like a few at the time. But I'm impressed with how many like, you know, free to play friendly things that they've done for like start off. And they have a pity system, which I like to see. Just because most people always ask the developers for a pity system. And we never end up getting them. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be nice. That summon at the end. But, yeah, guys. That has been... Elder. It, is, it has changed so much. Especially in rewards. I, I'm definitely interested in, and I'm definitely kind of blown away but by how much is pretty much different. So this is... Oh, okay. Okay. So is, you know, is there any more of those rewards in here, you know? <laughs> Let me go ahead and, you know, look over here. What is this? Okay, we got some gears and stuff over here, you know? Let's say if they give us another one, that would be amazing. <laughs> but now they give some free characters as we go. Maybe give you a five-star rare summon over here. They give us, they give us some dark summons and stuff like that. All right, pretty neat, pretty neat. But hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.